are you Julius? Um, okay, I'm gonna try something. Um, I'm gonna do a backwards hair tutorial. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. Why am I doing this? Because um, I'm not good at doing tutorials. I'm gonna be honest. I'm just I'm pants. And um, although I haven't had a lot of complaints actually, but sometimes I do hairstyles. People are like, how did you do it? Are you gonna do a tutorial for that? Um, if you um, like my for nappiness forever fan page I put up loads of pictures there of hairstyles that I do and people say are you gonna do a tutorial for it sometimes I say I'm gonna do it and then I never do them and I'm sorry but it's because half the time in fact more than half the time I can never recreate um, hairstyles that I do which is why I take pictures so I can remember what I've done but also, when I do my hair, I never really know how it's going to turn out. I kind of know, um, okay, if any of you go to um, Bespoke Hairstyles, Melissa and Uget, 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 <laughs> um, something that Melissa said to me, and I remember it, and I think it's really good, is that you don't necessarily maybe know what style, what the style's going to look like, but you know where you want the hair to fall or what kind of direction you want the hair to go in. So that's what I kind of have in my head, or I have an idea of a style that I wanna do, but I never know if it's gonna turn out 100% like that. So for me to do tutorials, I'll be filming for ages because I'll be umming and ahhing and thinking about my hair, and then there'll be loads of editing for me to do. So it's really, and then, yeah, and then, and then what I have to do is then I'd have to do that style again and it won't turn out as good as it did the first time. I hope I'm not rambling. I hope you're still with me. So, what I'm going to try and do from now on, this being my first one, is I'm going to do backwards tutorials. So I'm going to break down. So as I'm taking my hair out, I'm going to show you what I did. Um, so this is the first one. So tell me if we can go with this or if it's a really bad idea because I just I don't think I'm gonna do tutorials I just don't think I'm that good at them especially when they're styles like this and I don't really know how it would have turned out this style though okay was inspired by my days what's her name Oh, Nicole Serzinger, Serzinger, Pussycat Doll, okay? She had, um, I saw her on X Factor and she had the 50s or 40s quiff and I was like, I want that. I really want that. So this isn't that big um, and it's got flatter over the week. This is why I'm not good at tutorials because I have to look in the mirror, okay? I can't be doing my hair in the camera. Um, but if I put my finger in here... Hopefully I can make it a bit bigger. It's not that much bigger, but yeah, it's supposed to be like a, a quiff going round. Okay, so I'm going to start breaking this down for you to see what it's like. So I'm going to wash my hair. But first of all, let's just um, look at the style all together. So we've got a quiff here um, going over and the hair's going round. And we've got flat twists on either side. If you notice, there are more flat twists on this side than this side because the hair is going to one side, okay? So there are more flat twists on one side than the other, okay? And you'll see that parting in a minute when I start breaking this down. So I'm going to start taking out the front first of all. And I've got hairpins here. And I'll show you this and then I might fold it back to show you how I did it. Because there's no perfect way of doing my styles, that's the thing. Oh, yoy, yoy. Okay. Let me just get my hairpin box out.
All right. So if you can see, those are those flat twists going up on that side. Then I've got these flat twists going up on this side and I had hair going in the middle here. I mean, have I got flat twists joined onto there? I have. I've got flat twists here. Sorry, flat twists. These are the flat twists on that side and I've just got loose hair in the middle and they were all just mini twists. Okay, so the mini twists were smaller than the flat twists. So then in the end I had this bit. I don't know if this backward tutorial is going to work. I'll put it up anyway and then you, you will tell me. Okay, so I've got this bit. Then I put a hairpin here. To keep it flat. And then I tried to just literally roll this over. And you're, you're no, never going to get this perfect. It wasn't perfect for me. I had to mess around with it. If you know the tuck and roll, that's what this is. Tuck and roll with this. And then you just pin it and try and get it in a way that you can. And you bring the quiff, the quiff down. Okay, so that's how I did that front bit. And there goes a hairpin. Um, and I did this front bit in two sections because I couldn't get the quiff all done in one section. So I'm going to just part this bit. So you can see that I've got another section here. That's the second bit of my quiff. And I just put it in hairpins wherever to just hold it and make it look smooth. there's loads of hairpins in there oh and um i like these hairpins so when you're doing a style like this these hairpins are better than using these hairpins it depends where you're placing them um, because sometimes when you've got too many of these hairpins overlapping it sticks into your scalp and it can cause you um pain and headaches so you have to think about where you put certain hairpins. See, look, there's loads in there. Absolutely loads. Oh. My hair needs washing. My hair needs washing. I'm going to explain that front bit in a minute. I'm just going to put it aside. Okay, so what you have here on the side and at the top is basically all this is is a ponytail and I've done twists out of the ponytail and I've just literally done pin curls and pinned them down in whatever direction I could do. So, can I take out one to show you? Okay, so here's one. Okay, so all you do is you just curl it around and you pin it however you want to pin it. So I'm gonna take out all of these. And again, these hairpins. I love them. I love those hairpins.
So I'm really not good at um clearly I'm not good at tutorials. I'm clearly not good at um no sorry. I'm not good at flat twisting the back. I can't camera or anything, so I always have to try and think of what am I gonna do with the back of my hair. So <coughs> All of that design was a ponytail, okay, which is on an angle, as you can see here, so it's going up towards this side. So all I did was a ponytail going up towards this side. Let me just show you. That's all that is, just a ponytail, okay. Then from that ponytail, you do all of your separate two strand twists okay and then you take each twist let me try one at the back so I can show you so I'm going to take this twist and I place it down curl it around and then I'll get a hairpin pin it down and then I'll keep going with every single twist. So I get a number one, place it down, turn it around, pin it down and keep placing every single one. And that's how you get an elegant kind of crown design. Okay, so all that is is, is a ponytail. So that's what the back is. So I'm going to take this out. Just so I can move it to show you my parting. So I'm just going to move it down to show you what the front, what's going on with the front. Okay, so the front. Wait a minute, what's going on here? The front has got a diagonal parting. Okay, so the parting is going from just here by my ear and it's going along and over here. But it's not going straight along, it's going further back on this side. So it's behind my ear here. So it's starting at the front of my ear here and it's going behind, it's ending behind my ear here. Okay. Don't shout at me for taking out a hair band like this. Okay, so then you've got two diagonal parts that are going upwards so it's going this way so it's going towards the way where I did the ponytail that way and that way so this would have been all loose hair that I would have put out of the way so that I could do my flat twist just going upwards okay so all you're doing is flat twists on either side and you're leaving a bit in the middle but it's not directly above your nose it's going in a diagonal because you want the hairstyle to go to the side okay so all up so this hairstyle comprises of four sections flat twists on either side this side and this side, mini twists in the middle, and a ponytail. That is all that hairstyle comprised of, okay? When I finished this, the idea was that this was gonna be a quiff that I could put round 
and pin down okay but I didn't want it like this I wanted the rockabilly quiff I couldn't quite do the quiff like that so I did it in two sections um, I can try and do it for you now let me see if I can but I know I won't recreate it the same way so I'm going to get my sections and I'm moving this to this side remember my ponytail went up this way I'm going to get a flat pin, a hair grip and I'm going to put it in so I can hold this hair down to that side I'm then going to try and roll this over just how you do um, roll and tuck and get this all under so I can get it round it's not going to be as good as it was before guys I'm going to warn you and then I'll get these pins and I'll secure it okay then what you do is you mess around with it to tidy it up and that's why these pins I like these pins because when you have the flat ones they tend to spoil the design these pins can still hold but it's a lighter hold so that you're not spoiling the shape of the hair design that you're trying to create okay I'm just going to leave that for now okay so then I've got this front bit of my quiff that I need to sort out so I'm going to get another flat grip pin that down so I can hold that there yeah get this round because I want it to be a hillbilly quiff and then I'm still going to get just for the front bit another flat pin if I can separate one out I'm going to get another flat pin to secure this bit of my quiff to my head or the rest of the hair. Okay, so that's almost how it was just now, but not it's not perfect. So you have to play around with it to get that to get that quiff. And I told you it's not going to turn out exactly as it was. I can take it back out and try again actually actually you see I know I did something what I actually did was I twisted it which way did I twist it I twisted it toward the back of my head so I twisted it loosely toward the back of my head just this front bit and you don't want it to be too tight because you still want you want to loosen this up so you can still get your quiff effect and then you're going to pin it and get in one of these then you're going to try and pin it in okay so now I'm getting my quiff effect okay so then you're going to go in and perfect it with these smaller pins and then obviously I need to join it up with that bit there and when you use pins like this it's good to weave in and out with them that's the best way 
for them to hold. And you want to try and keep your um, your quiff shape. So at the moment, these are falling forward a bit too much for my liking. So I'm going to try and get a pin in there. Weave it in and out to create some structure. Okay, so I've got my quiff back. Not as good as it was looking before. Okay, so then usually <coughs> this obviously would be all out and loose, which it was. So I smoothed it up nicely into, still got a hairpin here, smoothed, smoothed the back up nicely into my ponytail to the side. And really this quiff needs to go more to the side like that so that it can match up with this ponytail. Put all of your hair into the ponytail. Yeah, you would have had loose hair here, as I explained previously. You put all of those into um, your twists and then you just start curling your twists around and pinning them as you so please to make it look all really nice. And that's how you end up with this. Okay, so that was my backward um, tutorial. <laughs> That's probably the best that I can do, guys. Um, tell me how you found the um, backward tutorial. Tell me if it's worth me doing another one when I do another style. Um, personally, I think it's easier because you can see where all the parts are. That I've done and you can see it's only made up of um, four parts um, yeah so tell me how you found that okay all right then see ya <laughs>